welcome back today again we will be doing with chapter 13 that is contestation competition and contestation in democracy okay today's topic will be dealing with national political parties okay so uh, there are two kind of political parties okay in most of the democracies all around the world okay they are the national parties okay and we have the regional or the state parties Okay. these are political parties established in the national as well as in the state level okay so in India what happens is every party has to register themselves in the election commission before the election okay so large parties they are allowed election symbols okay they are given election symbols the party will have a symbol of its own okay and also will be given some privileges by the election commission okay such parties are recognized uh, as political parties okay and those parties okay and those parties which have uh, you know uh, which have at least six person votes in the Lok Sabha okay and or in the assembly election in any four states okay and wins at least four states in the Lok Sabha okay and wins at least four seats in the Lok Sabha okay then they would be termed as a national party okay so we will look into some of the national parties of uh, India as well Okay, the first we have the Indian National Congress, okay, which is one of the oldest, you know, oldest political party in India. It was mm, the party which fought against the independence of the country, okay, against the British rule. And when it was freed, okay, it became one of the leading parties in the Indian scenario. Okay, it maintained its position starting from that time, okay, to the early 1990s. Um, Okay, so in the five general election, they were prime. They were the prime political parties. Okay, starting from um, 1952, 1957, 1962, 1967, and 1971, Congress dominated the Indian political scene. Okay, it lost. However, okay, in the following years, okay, in 1977, it lost the election. Okay, and no doubt okay in 1980 again the congress made its comeback okay and it made a massive victory and reached its peak okay in the elections in 1984 okay after 1996 the congress was uh, somehow it deviated and the powers declined okay and they didn't rose to power and they lost to bgp in 2004 again the congress emerged as one of the single largest party okay and it formed a coalition government and it united with the UPA government okay and it became one of the most powerful um, party okay during May 2004 till 2014 okay and the party identifies itself on six basic governments okay they are number one subject Sadbhavna, okay, that is social harmony, Yuva Rojgar, employment for youth, Gramin Vikas, rural development, Arctic Uttan, economic resurgence, Mahila Saks, Shakti Karan, okay, woman empowerment, and Saman uh, Avsar, equal opportunity. Congress became one of the leading party for this, okay, and these were the main aims for the party okay to have social harmony employment for the youth rural development economic resurgence okay women empowerment equal opportunity okay these were the aims of the congress okay so this is one of the party that uh, is there in our textbook next moving on we have the Bharatiya Janata party that is the BJP okay moving on okay the BGP okay which is also known as the Bharatiya Janata Party and which is leading at the center right now okay was created in 1980 okay reviving the earnest Bharatiya Jansan okay it was revived from Bharatiya Jansan and it is one of the two major political parties of India 
Okay, so the main aim was is to build a strong and modern India. Okay, for by drawing inspiration from Indians' ancient culture and values. Okay, we can see that they want to promote ancient Indian culture and values uh, through their party. Okay, cultural nationalism, which is uh, also known as Hindutva. Okay, they want to promote that. Okay, and it strongly supported uh, the. It is strongly supported by Hindu organizations. Okay, it is uh, informally known as the Sangh Parivar. Okay, or also known as the Rashtriya Swam Seva Sangha. Okay, which is all known as the RSS. So when uh, the government was forming okay when the bjp was forming they formed alliance with several other parties okay during the time period between 1998 to 2004 okay and uh, one of and its most uh, senior uh, leaders okay of the bjp are where okay prime minister atal bihari vajbhai okay and deputy prime minister lal krishna advani and uh, it had uh, the coalition with the National Democratic Alliance okay and it came into power again in May 2014 and the government is currently led by the BJP with with Prime Minister okay Narendra Modi and uh, its main aim is to develop the country into a superpower okay and also launch a second green revolution in the country and have a peaceful uh, relationship with Pakistan okay besides promoting cultural nationalism and they have three basic uh, premises or duties that they want to do is they want to abolish article 370 okay which gives a kind of um, free autonomy to Jammu and Kashmir okay so they want to remove article 370 okay full territory and political integration of Jammu and Kashmir with India and also they want to have a uniform civil court for civil uh, citizens irrespective of religion and to ban religious conversions next we have the communist party of India that is the Marxist okay CPIM Okay, so this Communist Party of India, okay, Marxist, usually known as CPIM, okay, it split from the Communist Party of India in 1964. The CPI, okay, mostly is powerful in states like Kerala, West Bengal, and Tripura, okay, and its doctrine is mainly focused on Marxism and Leninism, okay, because they were communist leaders, okay, and they advocated the idea of communism. And so what happens is they believe in the ideas of Marxists and Lenin, okay, uh, but they also accept, okay, a parliamentary democracy for securing different kind of objectives, okay. So um, it uh, had been power in West Bengal, okay, for continuously for around 30 years and in 2014 election in the Lok Sabha it won only 9 seats, okay, so what happened was CPIM went down. Okay, it was you know uh, it also was a part of a previous UPA coalition okay coalition at the center supporting from outside next we have the uh, communist um, party of India okay so the communist party of India has its beginning okay on 26 December 1925 okay and uh, it also believes in the idea of Marxist and Lenin okay and secularism and democracy Secularism means having um, having no distinction in th terms of religion. Okay, so on a national level, it supported previous Indian National Congress. Okay, united by the United Progressive Alliance. Okay, so what happened is uh, it formed alliance with the UPA government. Okay, and came to power as well. Okay, next we have the Bahujan Samaj Party. Okay, this Bahujan Samaj Party was founded in 1984 okay, to represent the interests of the SCs, STs and the OBCs and religious minorities of India. Okay, and the BSB was formed by two leaders that is Kanchi Ram and MS Mayawati. Okay, and in 13th Lok Sabha 1999 to 2004 it had 
14 out of 545 members okay the main base of the party is in Uttar Pradesh okay and it led the government in Uttar Pradesh many times and uh, it also okay uh, has intense rivalry with another other leading parties in um, Uttar Pradesh okay the Samaj Party party however the general election in the Lok Sabha of 2014 okay it failed to win even a single seat okay with which okay it came down the BSP drew its inspiration or its basic aims okay from the teaching of Dr. B.R. Ambedkar okay Sahu Maharaj Mahatma Puli okay and Periyar Ramaswamy Naichar okay so these were the people which this bsp drew inspirations from okay next we have the national congress party okay so this is the national congress party which was formed in 1999 by sarat power and peace pa sangma and tarik anwar okay after they left the congress party okay after they left the congress party what happened was they formed a new national congress party Nationalist Congress Party, okay, and, and they had objected, okay, to persons of foreign origin becoming the prime minister, okay, they did not accept a foreign person to come and then become the prime minister of India, okay. So the NCP claims is support uh, democracy, okay. Uh, their main goal or their supportation is based on democracy. Gandhian secularism okay they believe in the idea of Gandhi's secularism okay equity social justice and federalism okay its major party is in Maharashtra and has a significant presence in Meghalaya Manipur and Assam okay next we have the All India Trinamool Congress okay which is also known as the AITC okay it is an indian national party okay which is based in west bengal it was founded in 1997 by miss mamta Banerjee, and she is still in power till today okay and it won the lok sabha seats with 34 seats okay it's currently the fourth largest party in india okay and in the lok sabha uh, its major objective is to look against the downtrodden, remove Ill illiteracy, poverty and injustice. Okay, and also calls for the upliftment of the, you know, um, downtrodden by ensuring social equality, awakening, okay, as well as of the masses and participation in the lawful electoral. Okay, moving on, next we have the state parties. Okay, over a few decades, okay, Congress has been dem dominating the uh, political scenario in India. Okay, but um, with the recent times, okay, uh, over a decade, what is happening is the Congress, their power is slowly by slowly declining with other parties. Okay, and so we can see a large number of regional as well as state parties emerging. Okay, on the national scene as well because most of the and national parties are not able to secure their seat in the Lok Sabha. Okay, so what happens is uh, small uh, uh, regional parties and state parties emerge. Okay, so as such, Deliku Desam Party (TDD) and Biju Janta Dal (BJD) were important coalition partner. Okay, of the earlier NDA regime. Okay, likewise, Rashtriya Janatal (RJD). Dravida Man Manitra Kazakam DMK were important uh, partners in previous ruling coalition. So what happens is state parties collide with bigger parties, okay, and they form the government. Okay, that was seen mostly in the Indian scenario. Okay, six uh, since 1996, we can see nearly every one or state parties, okay, which got um, opportunity okay to be a part of the national level or they collided with other parties as well okay some of them are the dmk ai a dmk sikkim democratic front mizo national front okay national conference etc are quite ex considered as execute consequences of their state identity okay so these are the what happens is most of the state parties are colliding with the regional or uh, with the national parties okay in order to form the government okay and which is basically needed in the society as well 
okay next we have shaping of democracy in favor of ordinary people the former uh, president of America, okay, Abraham Lincoln, okay, what he did was he said that democracy, okay, is uh, considered as, okay, a government by the people, of the people, and for the people. Okay, thus the democracy completely is for the people, okay, and uh, all the people living in it. So we will be looking into certain points, okay. Number one is there need to be further decentralization of power to the grassroots level, though the constitution was amended in 1992 to make local self-government more powerful and effective, at least one third of all positions are reserved for women in the local bodies. Okay, so there should be further decentralization of power. The power division should be given more. Again, there should be more division of power in the Indian society. Okay, and they also uh, focuses on reservation of seat for women in the local bodies. Number two is the promotion of women in the legislation. Legislature has been very low. Their strength in Lok Sabha is only around 10% of the total strength, and women organization and activities have been demanding reservation of at least one third of the seats in Lok Sabha. Okay, we can see that in the legislature, mostly in the Lok Sabha, we can see only around 10% of seat given to the women or women being elected. So. Uh, <clears throat> Here accordingly, okay, women should be given certain kind of reservation so that they would be, uh, so that they would come equal, okay, or they would come to power, okay, with the man folk. Mm, pressure groups and movements need to galvanize the work to put pressure on the government to act in favor of ordinary people, okay. Very simple, you will understand the topic. Next, okay, the political parties should also be reformed, okay, because most of the parties are not working according to the uh, prescribed will, okay, and so what happens is <coughs> we need to form, reform the government, uh, the political parties again, okay, the focus of election campaigns need to be shifted to develop men of people. The teeming millions of Indians, the role of caste and religion in politics need to be totally mitigated. Okay, so when you are campaigning for ele election, you should focus solely on the development of a country or a development of the state, not focus on religion or not focus on caste system. It should be removed. Okay, they should focus only on the development of the country or the state when they are contesting for election. It should be made mandatory for political parties to give minimum number of tickets to women okay uh, for political parties to give minimum tickets to Dalits and poor people okay so uh, they should also give okay emphasize on giving uh, tickets to women okay and Dalits and the poor okay with this okay we come to the end of this chapter we will continue with the next chapter in our next class thank you and have a nice day